What's going on YouTube? Up and I'm here and today I have another Madden 22 video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get up to two free Team of the Year cards, one auctionable and one end cat. I'm also going to talk to you about how you can make coins off of these and the best way that you can build these Team of the Year cards at the best price and how you can be doing that. So before we jump into the video, make sure that like button, hit that sub button, turn those noti bells on for more Madden content. Okay, so we are on MuttGG. They came out with a whole preview here. Shout out to MuttGG and the team that works there. They do a great job putting this together. Um, if you don't use the site, you definitely should. It has so much info that you definitely could use. So here is the team of the year preview. We have all the players. We'll go through those players shortly here. But the main thing to take away is going to be this 97 overall Debo Samuel LTD player of the year. It'll be in packs for 72 hours starting around whenever the program goes live, 72 hours after that. So I believe it's probably going to go live around 10.30 a.m. It could get postponed a little bit. Not too sure exactly, but that's what time it should be going live. Definitely check like Twitter to see when the, the actual content is live in game, okay? Here are all your player, players, okay? I'm just going to show you them. Uh, we have the team of the year specialists, okay, and you can see here it says available in packs from 125 to 128. I'm going to explain what that means later. Don't worry. You'll still be able to get all these cards, but I will explain that in a little bit. But here are some of the cards, okay? We're going to go through them shortly, but we have specialists. We have the offensive, okay, all the theme teams as well. And then we have the defensive players all over here, okay? There you go. Now, let's go ahead, take a look at the players. And then we'll come back and talk about the sets, how to get these cards for free, and all that. Let's start off with the specialists here. We have Javon Hargrave as a D-tackle specialist. You can see all the stats on the screen right over there. Next up, we have Kyle Juszczyk, fullback on the 49ers. 90 speed, lead blocking is a 96, run block is a 94. This card is really, really good. Definitely picking that up for my 49er theme team 100%. We have Michael Dixon at uh, punter, Seattle Seahawks right there. You can see the punting stats if you want a punter. We have Tony Pollard as the kick returner, 95 speed, 97 acceleration, break tackles, and 96. His catching stats are 72. He's an elusive back. I really like this card as a Cowboy fan myself. We have Nick Folk at kicker. You can see all the stats right there. And the last one is going to be Kenyon Drake as a third down back. You can see all his stats there. Raiders theme team must be happy. On defense, we have Joey Bosa. You can see all the stats on the screen right here. Really solid for Chargers theme teams. We have DeForest Buckner. Okay, this card is going to be good. I've been using his 90 overall. I still enjoy it. I'm probably going to pick up this one for the Niners theme team. Stats are really, really good. We have Patrick Sertain as a cornerback. We have Jeremy Chin free safety. Speed is a little bit low on this card, but his zone and man are really solid. Robert Quinn at right outside linebacker. You can see all the stats there. Lots of theme teams you can use for this one. We have Fred Warner, middle linebacker, another 49er player. I think they got quite a bit. I think they got like five 49ers in this program. We have Trayvon Diggs, 96 overall Dallas Cowboy cornerback. You can see all the stats. His his nine or like his team of the week card that he had previously played really really good. I expect this one to be the same thing. We have left end Daniil Hunter. You can see all the stats on the screen right here. Next up we have Denzel Ward, another really solid corner. 96 speed, 94 zone, 96 man. Press is a 95. I really like this card. I think it's gonna be really really solid. And we have Harrison Smith as a strong safety. Got that 94 speed, 96 hit power. Again, really solid card. And now for the offense, we got Patterson. 96 overall elusive back, 95 speed, 95 break tackle. He's got a ton of different theme teams he plays for. So this is going to be a really, really uh, sought after card, 100%. We have Jason Kelsey at center. Hey, okay, Eagles fans, stand up, I guess. <laughs> Um, we have Darren Waller at tight end. You can see all the stats here. Probably one of the better tight ends in the game. Another Raider theme team. Andrew Whitworth at left tackle. He's got 99 awareness. Run blocking's a 95. You can see all the stats there. We have Ali Marpet, 
uh, left guard on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You can see all the stats there. Next up, we have wide receiver Justin Jefferson. Really good, 96 speed. Yeah, yeah, really good. His short and mid route running is really good as well. Zach Martin at right guard, Cowboys again. 96 strength, 96 pass blocking, decent run blocking stats as well. We have Justin Herbert as our QB. All right, uh, what, like, yeah, I'm, I'm surprised. I was I was leaning towards a Justin Herbert or a Derek Carr winning it, and it looks like we got Justin Herbert. His release is not the best, but his stats look pretty good here. Another receiver that we have is going to be the Jalen Waddle, 96 speed. Deep route running is a 96 overall. His catch and track is, traffic is a 94. And the last one is going to be Trent Brown, right tackle. Another really good card here, 96 strength. Lots of good stats for that old line. Now let's get into how you can get some of these cards for free. You can get one auctionable one and one end cat. So the first one we're going to talk a little bit about is the sets. Okay, so we have all the 96 team of the year players are going to have their own sets. They're all going to be um, individual sets. And all you need for those is going to be 193 to 94, 291 to 92, 389 to 90s and 487 to 88 overall players okay you get their their the the item the team of the year item plus their power up included okay then now we're going to talk about this exchange set this is the first way to get a free team of the year player and this one will be auctionable okay you will be able to sell it on the auction house uh trade it um and a quick sell it for full value all that so you need to have 17 team of the year tokens so that means to get those tokens you would have had to do the team of the week solos from the beginning and get all 17 tokens i got all mine if you didn't play your team of the week solos throughout the year you won't be able to get this one unfortunately i'm not sure if they're going to add uh some other challenges if you missed a couple weeks i'm not sure they didn't mention that but that is going to be how you get it and you get a choice of three players okay um, it's gonna be random. It's gonna be one offensive player one defensive player and one specialist and you get to pick one of those It's gonna be random. You can't pick it's not gonna be a full fantasy pack It's gonna be three choices one for each um, One for each offensive defensive and specialist. That's it Okay, and then they, you can auction it off if you don't want it the next one is gonna be the end cat 96 overall player Okay, so it's gonna be your, your team of the week solos. There's gonna be 40 challenges 60,000 coins you could earn plus 160 possible stars. At 100 stars, you get one 96 overall end cap fantasy pack. You can pick one of seven. So it's gonna contain three offensive, three defensive, and one team of the year specialist to choose from. So you're gonna have to get lucky. There's gonna be seven cards in the fantasy pack and you can pick one of those and it's gonna be an end cat. You won't be able to sell it, won't be able to trade it, okay? That's about it, all right? Next up, how do you get these cards? Where are the different ways? So I talked to you about the sets already, and we also have re-rolls, okay? So you can see the re-rolls. We have 96 overall team of the year offense, um, 96 overall team of the year defense, and then a 96 overall team of the year specialist. So the offensive and defensive cost 42,000 training, and the, the 96 overall specialist cost 40,000 training. It's gonna be just one random player. So you don't get to pick, it's not a fantasy pack. You roll it, you get just one random out of the offensive, defensive, or specialist. And the LTD Debo Samuel that I showed you earlier on in the video, that's gonna be available in these packs. You could have a chance of pulling it in the rerolls and also regular packs for 72 hours and then they're gone, okay? The other thing I wanna mention is that the team of the year specialist when it says available in packs from this time and offensive are in this time, that means just regular packs. That means you won't be able to pull team of the year offensive players until uh, in regular packs like pro fantasy packs, elite packs, stuff like that until uh, 128. So January 28th to the 31st, uh, you won't be able to pull specialists in packs until the 25th to 28th and then the defensive from the 31st to the 4th. So those are the only times you could pull those specific players in regular packs okay but you can do them you can they're all gonna be available in game in sets and the re-rolls okay so there you go okay so one last thing i want to mention is that my guy mutt lane he built this spreadsheet for us are ready to go for to for well when the when the content gets released it shows the cost of how to build these and how much it's going to cost to build a team of the year player right it's going to have the training cost and what if it's better to actually go ahead and build it with the sets 
or take your chance on the rerolls. It's gonna look like you're probably the cheapest way to do it is probably gonna be going through the rerolls at the moment. However, you won't get to pick and it's still a luck of the draw. If you're looking for a specific card, your best bet will probably be able to complete the sets. But we will have it all tracked here and see if there's any coins to be made as well. But that's that part. Now let's talk a little bit about how to make some additional coins once the content goes live and how we prep for it. So like I said before, I told you in the video before prepping, you want to hold on to some of those cards. Some of these players are going for a decent amount now. If any of these cards have gotten upgrades that you see, go check their previous cards. Debo Samuel is going for about 14000 for his Team Builder 1. About, yeah, about 13000 so there's some profit there. Okay, if you have the Debo Samuel 88 Team of the Week card like I do, I think he's selling for about $60. let us go quickly check. So your goal is to go sell some of these players that have used to have previous cards because there is some profit to be made here. So I have a Debo... Samuel, 88 overall going for, let's see, it's loading, 60,000 coins, definitely well above it. I'm going to sell it right now, don't need it. And yeah, the main thing is, is going to be like sniping some of these cards. Pro Fantasy Packs might be really fun to open, especially with a chance at pulling some of these new cards. And you will be able to get the pieces to build some of these Team of the Year pieces uh, bets as well. So those are going to be the best ways to make coins. Like any of the cards that got upgrades, check if you have past ones, go check past sets, okay? Check the most feared. Check any kind of sets that have cards. Like another Debo Samuel 92 here, going for 110. He was going for about like, I wanna say like 80 to 85,000 last week. So lots of points to be made. I will go through any other coin making methods once the content goes live in game. Be sure to uh, be subs to the channel, keep those money bills on, because if I find anything, I will be posting it right on the channel immediately. So anyways, hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you with another one very soon.